Now there's two different types of motion. Motion with constant velocity in which you move equal distances in equal amounts of time and there's accelerated motion or constant acceleration. In this session we're going to look at the graphical interpretation of an object moving with constant velocity. So there's, th so there's three graphs that we can look at. There's the distance versus time graph it, which will tell us where the object is at a specific instance of time. There's the velocity versus time graph and that's going to tell us how fast an object's moving at a particular interval or moment of time. And then there's the acceleration versus time graph. And each type of motion, whether it's constant velocity or constant acceleration, is going to have one of these graphs. And in this video, we'll look at all three of these graphs for an object traveling with a constant velocity. So let's clear some room to uh, start looking at our first graph. So if I have a graph, and in this case, I'm going to look at the distance versus time. So on this axis, I'm going to have my time component, and I'll measure it in units of seconds. So I'm labeling the unit in which I'm measuring the time. And in this, uh, uh, what's often referred to as the y-axis, I'll have distance, and I'll measure that in units of meters. So what this is going to tell me is where this object is at a particular moment in time. So something that's moving with constant velocity, you'll see a nice linear relationship between an object's uh, position and time. So let's say this object starts here. What you'll see for an object traveling with constant velocity, it's going to be moving farther and farther and farther away. So what that means is, let's say that here is one second, two seconds, and three seconds. If this object's traveling with a constant velocity of, say, 10 meters per second, if this is my axis 10, or axis, and I'm representing this point as 10 meters, this is, say, 20 meters, this is, say, 30 meters, what you should see is that if you go up, and over to this point, you're going to be traveling equal distances in equal amounts of time. So that's the definition of constant velocity. And you get a nice constant or straight line slope. So this relationship is a linear relationship between distance and time for an object moving with constant velocity. Now another graph that we can look at is the velocity versus time graph for an object traveling with constant velocity. So in this case, if this is my velocity versus time graph, on this axis I'll have time, and it'll be in units of seconds. On this axis will be velocity, and the units will be meters per second. So in this case, for an object traveling with constant velocity, you'll see a nice straight line. And this means constant velocity. It means that at any point in time, let's say this is one second, and let's say using the example that we had, this point on the velocity axis would be 10 meters per second. So at any interval of time or any point of time, this object's going to be traveling at the exact same rate. So if I wanted to know what the velocity was after, uh, or excuse me, uh, if I wanted to know what the velocity was one second into this object's motion, well, I'd go to this point here, all the way up to the velocity, it's 10. After another second, it's still going to be 10 meters per second. After yet another second, the velocity is still going to be moving at 10 meters per second. I could estimate, or I could extrapolate that if this object continues to move at this same velocity in one minute, the velocity is still going to be 10 meters per second. In two minutes, it will still be 10 meters per second. If nothing obstructs this object in three hours, this object will still be moving at a constant velocity of 10 meters per second. The final graph that I can look at is the acceleration versus time graph for an object moving with constant velocity. So if this is my acceleration versus time graph, so here's my graph. On this axis, again, it will be time. And in th this will be in units of seconds. On this axis will be acceleration. And that's going to be in units of meters per second squared. And for an object that's traveling with constant velocity, all right, the acceleration is zero. And I'll show that point in one second. But you'll get a nice line going right across the um, time axis because it's not accelerating. The object's not speeding up, nor is it slowing down. So let's take a look at why that is um, so that
Now, we assume that we had a constant velocity, in this case of 10 meters per second. Now, what that means is its initial velocity, right, is 10 meters per second. Its final velocity is also going to be 10 meters per second. The velocity has not changed. No change in velocity during that whatever interval of time. So if I wanted to calculate the acceleration of this, so again, my acceleration is equal to the change in velocity, which is v final minus v initial, divided by the time it takes to change that velocity. Now in this case, since this object's velocity is, the final velocity is 10 meters per second, and the initial velocity is 10 meters per second, whatever interval of time I divide that by, maybe it's one second, maybe it's a thousand seconds, but it doesn't matter, because in this case, the numerator is going to be zero. So this object's acceleration, the change in velocity per change in time, is going to be zero meters per second squared. So the object's velocity does not change, and that's the definition of what constant velocity is. So again, we would see that this, you know, if we wanted to say acceleration equals zero meters per second, sometimes we would label that directly. All right. In the next video, we'll examine what it means for an object to be traveling with acceleration or constant acceleration.